Hello, I'm Peter Gibbs and you'll normally see me presenting the weather on the BBC or hear me on the radio keeping the panel in line on Gardener's Question Time. But I'm also a Met Office weather forecaster. And at the Met Office, we don't just deal with a forecast for the next few days. We're also world leaders in the science of climate change, providing advice to business and to government. But we're at Hampton Court Flower Show at the Garden Energy Garden to provide you with some advice on how to deal with climate change in your garden, separating out the facts from the fiction. And it is a fact that the climate has changed across the UK. Eight out of the ten warmest years on record have occurred since 1990. I'm sure you're seeing the changes in your garden already. We're getting away with more exotic plants. Things are blooming earlier in the spring. You might even have had to get the lawnmower out in the middle of winter. And that's no surprise. With just a one degree C rise in average temperature since the 1970s, the growing season has actually increased by two to three weeks. Now, over the next 40 to 50 years, our research shows that even if we take uh, action immediately to stop greenhouse gas emissions, we're still committed to a rise of another one and a half degrees or so. So it's important that we adapt to that climate change, but it's also very important that we take action to reduce those emissions further so that the impact is even less. So what sort of weather can we expect by 2050? Well, let's start by taking a look at a typical winter night now. Frost fairly common, of course, particularly across the northern half of the UK, but we'll get frost in the south from time to time as well. And so we plant our gardens accordingly with hardy species that can cope with the cold weather. We get a fair bit of rain coming through as well from time to time, of course. But what's it looking like by 2050? Well, frost becomes much more of a rarity, uh, turning up really only across northern areas with any sort of frequency. But that could cause problems for gardeners. If you're planting out more tender species because of the milder nights, just one hard frost could kill those plants off. The big change we expect, though, is in terms of rainfall. Much wetter winters, that's going to lead to flooding, it's going to lead to waterlogged soils, and uh, certainly Mediterranean species aren't going to like that. Even some of our common species, like the common yew, are also going to struggle with those sort of conditions. So that's the winter. What about the summer? Well, this is a typical British summer day now. Temperatures are nicely into the low 20s, if we're lucky. Some sunshine coming through, rain more particularly across northwestern areas. By 2050, well, things have really changed. We will see some rain, but less than we get now. So drought's going to become quite an issue. That's going to cause problems for gardens. We'll have to plant accordingly with drought-resistant species. When the rain does come, it's going to come in the form of torrential downpours. So that's going to lead to flash flooding, and the water just really won't get into the ground to help the gardens at all. And look at these temperatures. Uh, quite often, we're going to see temperatures getting into the mid to high 30s across southern parts of the UK, even up to 30 degrees further north. So some big changes on the way. Why not come along to the Garden Energy Garden to talk to our experts to see how climate change is going to affect you and your garden. You can even have a go at presenting the forecast for 2050. And it's not as easy as it looks, honest. <laughs>